church i hope everybody's having a good day and staying warm it has been extremely cold here i checked the temperature out here the other morning and it said negative two i went back out about an hour later and checked it again and i came up with minus 12 that was on the side of the shop here on the metal there was some more places around out there that it wouldn't even read Whenever I check something that's real hot, it says OH or something overheated or... Anyway, it won't read something when it's extremely hot. Well, it done that in the cold out there. I can remember one time back in the 80s that it got below zero for a little while. I think it was the 80s. It was either the late 80s or the early 90s. And... It was bad cold then. I can remember minus four or five. So this this was right around the coldest that I can ever remember. I know there's few of y'all older than me that watches the channel that has been raised here where I'm at. If y'all remember it any colder than that, put it in the comments because I'd like to know. We're not doing a whole lot here today. How'd y'all like the introduction there? <laughs> That's something a little different. I had a guy the other day leave a comment on one of the videos. And I don't remember what the name of the video was, but I was sweeping the shop. And it did. I swept the shop a little bit too long. It was a couple minutes. And he said, I've watched you sweep your shop for three minutes and I'm out of here. <laughs> it's just, it's hard to keep some people's attention. This modern world, people likes those short videos. And to be quite honest with you, I wouldn't give a nickel for those short videos. But people love them. I can put a short video on and it'll get thousands of views in just an hour or so. I can put a long video on, it'll get a hundred videos in four or five days. I heard our alarm go off. I'm gonna go look and see if somebody's out here. We still got snow on the ground. Probably three or four inches left on the ground out here. It wasn't nobody, it was Bobo running around out there. He stayed in his doghouse for about three days. I put his food right there beside of it and he'd stick his head out and eat his food and get back in. <laughs> so it's, it's warming up a little bit out here now. He's coming out of his doghouse. I got old Merle hanging out here with me today. There's something about listening to that music on an old record player. I don't know why they ever done away with that and tried to get these CDs and things to where you don't hear that. Cause that right there, that just that just makes music for me. That crackling and popping sound that it makes. We working on a little project here for the wife. Women, they have hair, and they have all kinds of tools to deal with that hair. <laughs> I keep my hair just cut nearly off, which I hadn't got a whole lot, but I keep it just shaved close, cause I don't like fooling with hair. But they do, and they, they like to mess with their hair. And this right here, that's what it's gonna be. It's gonna go on the wall like this. And it's gonna be a place for her to put her blow dryer and her, what's them little things called that, uh, flats, flat irons that they mash their hair with and make it flat. They'll make it flat one day, and then the next day they want it all curly. <laughs> but that's what this is going to be a place for her to put those. Now I'm going to paint it. It's just in this rough, raw form right now. We're going to paint it black, and this ain't black. I've got a new can here of matte black paint. This is some kind of camouflage paint that I had here the other day. I wanted to prime this back back here before I nailed it onto this. But now what I need to do is I've got most of the pieces cut. I need to get them primed and go ahead and start ripping my trim up that I'm going to put on here. 
I think this has got a little bit of artwork on the back of it. My grandson, he's been, if he's a piece of plywood or something laying around in here, he likes to color on them. And he's colored on this one. But that's about all I'm doing today, just staying in here in the shop and trying to stay warm. I know this storm that we had affected a whole lot of people. Did any of y'all get a lot of snow from it? Just a few miles on down south from us, about 15 miles south from here, they got like 10 inches. So the further south you went, the more snow you got. And that's weird that the cold weather is colder down here in the south than it is up in New York. One of my friends on here, Adirondack Outdoors, he said that we were colder than he was, and he's in, I think he said upstate New York. I probably need to hit this with some sandpaper. So this right here, the first coatings I put on just gonna be a primer. And if it looks good, we'll leave it this color. If not, I may have to go and get a little bit more of a gloss to it. I'll get it all painted up and we'll see what it looks like. These little pieces here, they make the bottom in it like so. And then these will fit right down in there like this. We've had quite a few new people watching and comments. I sure do thank all y'all new ones and you older ones for all the comments and the thumbs up that you've been leaving. For the last month or so, it seems like we've been getting a lot more comments. And I think that's helping with the YouTube algorithm. It seems like we're getting picked up and pushed out to some new people. So I sure do appreciate it. Y'all don't forget, hit that thumbs up or the thumbs down. I hope you like it, but if you don't, give it a thumbs down. I was hoping one can would do it. This spray paint, that stuff has gotten high. I think this can here was about $6 plus tax. And it was the cheapest above the Walmart brand. You know, Walmart has a brand there that used to be I think it used to be 99 cents, but it's nowhere near 99 cents anymore. This was the next step above it, so this wasn't the most expensive paint. Now, we need to let that dry. And we'll probably have to put one more coat in here before I start putting it together. We're ready to finish this. It's been a few days since I started this, and it's been a wild few days. We've had the snowstorm and that extreme cold weather. We've been without water for, I think it was about two days we was out of water, and everybody was out of water. The, the city shut down the water for the country. They were running out, so they just shut everybody off in parts of the country, out here where we're at, everybody was shut off. We're about ready to put the paint on this now. It made me proud that we were preppers because it didn't affect us a whole lot. We've got a lot of water stored to drink and we had filled the bathtub up just in case the water did freeze or in case we ran out of water, that way we could flush our toilets. So other than not taking a shower for two days, we done pretty good. It looks a little different than the last time y'all saw it. But I think it's gonna work for what we're trying to do. And I'm gonna probably put a shelf on here for her to set some stuff on. But I think I'm gonna put a coat of paint on it first. And then, and then put the shelf on here. If I even put a shelf. I'm just trying to put a light coat on it. I'd rather put two or three light coats than one real heavy one that starts running. It really wants to run on 
this that's done been painted white. I reckon because it's a lot slicker. I ran a little sandpaper over it, trying to roughen it up just a little bit. put any shelves on the side or not. Probably going to take it in and put it on the wall and see what it looks like and see if she wants to see more shelves on it or not. Because this here is going to hold the stuff that she needs to put in it. I believe, I believe this is going to be all we need. I don't think she's going to need any shelves. So we just got to let this dry. And I'll carry it in there and surprise her with it. She hadn't seen it yet. I hope everybody's been staying safe and warm during this cold spell because I know that this has covered a big lot of the United States, these temperatures and the snow too. And it has really made me look at preparing a little bit different. They were things that we needed to have had done different than we did. And this, is, this has showed me a lot of weaknesses in our preparing. We're going to try to get more prepared for this. But this is going to be about it for today. I hope everybody stays safe. I thank you for watching. I pray God blesses you. And I'll see you in the next one. This is the finished product here. This gives her a place to put her hair tools.